In the last video, we made a jeans pattern, cut the denim fabric, and in this video, we will join all these parts to make our jeans. Let's make the front pockets. Keep both the front parts of jeans and mark for the front pockets. The size can be 4 inch by 3 and a half inch. You can measure the pocket size of your ready-made jeans and accordingly you can mark and cut this part. Now you are left with these small pieces. You keep it and keeping one inch around it, cut two pieces for the pockets. Mark the upper opening. I will show you in detail but this is how we will keep these two pieces and each of them on a fabric of 7 inch by 12 inch for the pockets. But before this, we also need to keep the front part of our jeans and cut two pieces this way. And this piece would be about one and a half inch wide. Now we make the pockets. So here the fabric for the pocket is about seven inch by twelve by two. Like uh, you can take about 20 inches long and this small piece keep around the pocket opening and stitch keeping back side of the fabric out. Turn it. You can iron or Press it with your hands or fingers. Here you can make the pocket this way. So we keep this piece and fold it and stitch around it. This way prepare both the pockets. Now this is the pocket opening and make a top stitch. I am using denim stitching thread which is easily available in the market. You can order it online also. And uh, needle you must be using 16 number or 18 number to stitch your denim fabric to make your jeans. Once the pocket opening is done, now the opening will be placed this way and this pocket which is long enough till the hip when you fold it. So fold it. Now place and trace the opening. It was one and a half inch but uh, some part of it has gone into the fold. Now keep about one inch and mark again. 
now this inner marking will be joined with the pocket opening so we cut cut on the inner marking only it is done that side of the fabric out now this cut would be joined with the pocket opening you can use pins to keep the pieces together and then make a stitch make sure both the pieces fit each other nicely because it is in curve now the joints you should overlock because denim fabric frays easily the threads would come out easily so you must overlock now close the open sides of the pocket same way close the other side of the pocket too only pocket is to be closed from the sides it is done on the side we have this extra fabric which we don't need so we cut it it is joined same way you prepare another pocket and on top also we have extra fabric which we don't need now we prepare the back pockets and if you remember at the time of cutting there was a yoke also two pieces of yoke this yoke must be joined with the back part of the jeans yoke gives flexibility to your hip waist area and you can sit and stand comfortably in your denim jeans the joints should be towards the down and after this the other part should also be joined how it should be joined that i also showed you in the cutting tutorial how it should be placed and now it must be stitched together after joining interlock the pieces and make a top stitch you have to make top stitch with the denim thread and in the bobbin i have normal polyester cotton thread if you iron it would come out easily this is the pocket and mark and design the pockets at the end of the video i'll show you in detail how these back pockets are made beautifully and stitched on the jeans so here in short i show you that you simply open the pockets and place them this way but if you want it in detail you can go at the back of the video and check out the complete process let's make the front fly of the jeans this is a piece of about 1 and 1/2 inch wide and it is as long as the fly you want that is about 1 inch lesser than the 
z fold it make a top stitch open it this is a metal zip for the jeans place it downward and make a stitch now when you open it the front side would be visible this way this is 3 inch wide piece which you fold make a stitch and fold from the top while you make these jeans especially when you are making it for the first time I advise that you keep one ready-made jeans with you so that you can refer to that while making your jeans so it is done This is the ply of the cheese and till here that is about half inch of the jeans ending this uh, zip, zip hand ending and then you can mark so that you can stitch on this marking. Now Keeping about 1 cm from the end, start stitching on this marking. If you find any difficulty, use a dry piece of a bathing soap. Rub it on the thicker part of the joint and your machine will, your needle will pass through easily. Now, just one centimeter away from the end. The point is the zip should not be fixed in the stitch. Now, keep this other piece that we just stitched, the other side of the zipper and make a straight stitch. This is the other part of the jeans which is to be placed this way. For this make a small about one centimeter cut. It is the length which you need for your fly. Now fold this one centimeter, place the place it on the other end of the jeans. And stitch. This will also be a top stitch. A jeans zipper is a metal zipper. Sometimes you get it in plastic also. So it is important to make a fly this way. Now the bottom end of this part is to be folded up and stitched on. Once it is done, turn the jeans See, the ply is done nicely. Now the other, the top piece of the jeans is also to be folded.
and once you do it make a top stitch make sure your machine is in excellent condition and it is not breaking the threads it is stitching all right there is no lint machine is well oiled it is cleaned before you started stitching your jeans because making a jeans is not an easy pro project if your machine is not giving a smooth stitch if you need guidance if you need any help regarding this please check stitchingmall.com website for the tips or you can simply ask me in the comment section so this way the front part is done and your fly is completed now we stitch the jeans back part the pockets we had done the yoke had been joined the top stitches had been done and now we join the hip curve once you do it it is simple thing cut the extra threads and extra fabrics now open it interlock the folds and you can interlock using your domestic sewing machine also and then make top stitches now i have jeans thread only on the needle not in the bobbin so there would be and the top stitches are generally neat and tidier than the bobbin stitches so we make top stitches make one near the joint and the other one about a centimeter away from it this is important because it keeps the jeans long lasting and sturdier now we stitch the inside leg of the jeans this is a simple thing but you will need one tip most important that most of the people in fact i should say almost all the people have the problem of crotch area opening of their jeans after a few wears even the ready made jeans and pants open and the stitch come off around this area so make multiple at least two stitches around the crotch area so that the stitch is durable and it doesn't come off easily that is the benefit of making your own jeans that you can customize it your way in this part the inside leg part you can make double stitches or three stitches also if you want to so once it is done interlock the part and then open press or simply press it with your fingers and make one stitch close to the joint you can make even one more parallel stitch about 1 cm parallel to the this joint stitch this is the crotch area which uh, you may find it difficult to pass the needle around it so you can 
go slow use the hand wheel rather than pushing too much use the dry piece of the bathing soap like lux or life boy and the needle will pass through it easily make sure the needle is sharp enough if you use a new needle that is best to make a jeans after completing this the back side the outer side of the side of the jeans must be closed too so close the sides of the jeans keep checking that you don't pull or push or strain the denim fabric because it has high stretchability if you stretch it it will lose the shape so close both the sides till the waist line Once you close both the sides now fold the bottoms Depending on the fabric that you left for the fold it's 1 inch or 1 and a half inch you simply fold it The folds can be tricky because your needle your machine may find it difficult to pass through the folds So make sure they are softened and fold them neatly. Even denim comes in different varieties. Some are soft denims and some are very rough. Try to buy denims which has high stretchability and which is soft and has good texture to feel. to so fold the bottoms once and one more time like twice it will be folded and most importantly the stitch would be from the right side of the fabric this is just to ensure that you get a neat and nice finishing of the thread the other leg should be folded the same way make sure both the legs are evenly folded Now one more important step is to make a top stitch on the hip side both the hip sides okay so this stitch is also to be on the top joint you can see the front pocket and the back side pocket and this joint would go towards the back side and once you fold it make a top stitch this will ensure that your jeans does not rip from the sides this stitch is to be till the hip line only a 
about 10 or 10 and a half inch long. That's it. The other side, same way, make a top stitch on the hip side. Once you do it, now we make the loops and the belt. For the loop, take about a 1 inch wide piece and uh, interlock it from both the sides. And while you join the belt, after that you will be using these loops so that you could put your belt so we need about five loops depending on the belt size so for the belt of the this jeans these are the measurements you will be needing but i was left with less fabric for my jeans because my daughter is slightly taller than the fabric that is about uh, 1 meter 20 centimeter that was a standard jeans or denim fabric that the shopkeeper had. So I bought that fabric but my daughter wanted because she is tall enough so she wanted a longer jeans and I was left with less fabric. So I cut this belt. The method would be same. Use the measurements that I have shown. And this way from the back side, middle of the jeans, start stitching one side. Here also you don't need to pull the belt. Don't try to set it like the sleeve because the shape would be spoiled. Now my belt is less lesser than the length that I wanted. So I keep one more piece and cut the length that I want. Because I am left with only small scrap pieces, not enough length, I use this piece to increase the length of my belt. Join this piece. I show you these tips so that you don't make the mistakes that other people make. And you can make use of the fabric that you have. You don't face any problem. That's why I use these sewing tips. Because it is very convenient that I skip them, edit them and don't show the difficulties that are common. But that is not my purpose. My purpose is just to help you face the problems that any sewing lover or anybody who stitches clothes faces. Now this is the belt length. You can conveniently cut it leaving about a quarter of an inch from the side. Fold it inside and stitch till the end. When you open, 
it will be looking like this and this joint will not be very much visible because the loop will cover it. And uh, later on the belt will also cover it. The other side also I am left with less fabric because I cut both of them together. So what I do? I join a piece. The piece, the length that I want. I join it. Now starting from the middle of the back where we left our stitch start from there till the other end of the belt. All the creases, the pockets, place them right. And uh, one more tip, before you join the belt, just if you are making this uh, jeans for yourself, just uh, wear it once or check the waist that it is same as your waist, waist round, right? So that you don't end up making the belt loose or tight. So here also leave about quarter of an inch, fold it, stitch till the end. Now open this belt. And now it will be folded. See this is, this will come like this and the folded part will go inside. But the stitch will stitch it from the top. So fold it. It is uh, easier to handle denim fabric because uh, it is sturdy, doesn't flow very much but yes it is heavy fabric so it, uh, if you don't want your needle to give you trouble make sure you follow the tips that, that I have already given you. There is one article also on stitchingmore.com about jean sewing. I have given detailed tips how you can stitch your jeans or jeans for anybody on any regular sewing machine. So check that out so you don't find it difficult to stitch a jeans in your regular domestic sewing machine. From the top side start stitching the belt it is convenient to pull the fabric but don't pull it Especially while making a jeans, don't pull denim fabric. I again say it is highly stretchable and it will lose its shape if you stretch it. For the other end, and it is easier to stitch from the top 
just keep your fingers on the joints so you could feel where the fold is and you make the stitch exactly on the fold. It is easier than it looks like. We reach till the end. You may find it a little heavy. So use the hand wheel of the machine rather than stitching with a speed. Until and unless you have an industrial sewing machine and you have a good grip over it to make your jeans. So this is the top side of the belt. Ease the creases. You can use your fingers or you can iron it. This is the other end. When you go down, from here on, make a parallel stitch to the belt's lower stitch. This way, you will be stitching around it. So your jeans belt is done. It is completed. Your jeans is done. Now we make the loops. We already made the these long strips. Now simply mark as per the belt width that you are going to use in your jeans. My daughter is going to use a wide belt. So I'm using long marks. So depending on that, make the loops. Generally, one and a half inch or two inch is enough and standard. You can check your ready-made jeans also. So based on that, you can make a one and a half inch or two inch long loop. The belt has come out pretty well. Loop is uh, folded. It is a thicker piece. So use that soap trick I just shared. That is very effective and you can stitch a denim using a regular sewing machine if you use that soap trick and some of the tips that are, I already shared with you. But still if you find any difficulty you can ask me in the below comment section and let me know because I made some jeans earlier also I shared them with you and you people like those uh, jeans making videos. So let me know about this one also, how you like this jeans making video. So make another loop. One loop in the center of the back part. Other one on top of this front pocket side. Make two, three stitches. On the ends of this loop, thread should be strong enough. Use the de denim thread. And the other loop on other back side pocket side.
so three loops on the that side and two loops on the front side Now make the front loop and join it, place it, stitch it. Same way you will be stitching the other loop on the front side of the jeans. One of my uh, daughter's jeans had this loop design, so she wanted it that way. But you can change the design. Now I show you how did I make jeans patch pocket. This was the cut that we made for the jeans at the time of cutting the denim. Now I made this uh, rough marking, so you can make just simply any design. But for the beginners, I think this is the best design that you can, you should try. And uh, make about three, four, like three is ideal. So you can make about three or four stitches over it. And it will come like an embroidery stitch. But before you start stitching, make sure that you have opened the pocket. No side of the pocket is folded. Once it is done, fold the upper side, that is the selvage side. So here in the middle of it, I am using my Usha Janome. To make a satin stitch. Now we had already marked on the back side of the denim jeans. Now you fold the sides, press if possible, and if you press, it will really come out nice. Place it, pin, or do a basting stitch or a kacha. Now starting from the end. Make a stitch on the side. You can change the shape of this pocket as per your liking. I have already earlier sh uh, shown many videos related to making easy pockets, and I already shown how to make standard jeans pockets. So you can check that out in this uh, channel and you can subscribe to this channel. So whenever I'll be sharing it next, you will get it fast. Once you have done around this pocket, come back, make two stitches and then go parallel to the earlier stitch. This way the pocket would be strong enough. Most women, most girls complain that the pockets in jeans pockets are simply useless. So if you make your own jeans, you can come out of this trouble. You can make your pocket as per your needs and you can make as many pockets as you want on the sides and front bigger ones the other pocket will also be made like this here also you mark around it and depending on the design that you trace make 
simple thread you can use anchor threads also or same thread that you are using for making your jeans I put in lot of efforts to make these jeans and especially to make this video and share it with you I hope you like it and please let me know in the comment section what would you like to watch next for more tips please visit stitchinghall.com take care have a very good care of yourself stay happy stay healthy goodbye